um, I think the first time I ever called a radio show, uh, I had this whole spiel I was going to say. And then right before they put me on, they go, you got five seconds before the top of the hour news. Beep. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> uh, Waco was a test to see if we'd allow military operations in our neighborhoods. And we all failed it. And then they go, dun, 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 time for the top of the hour radio news. And it was like, you know, five o'clock drive time. So I got this thrill that like, oh, man, I just totally, you know, ear fucked 50,000 Austinites on their way home listening to KLBJ. I'm sorry, women and children watching this. I didn't know how else to say it. I got away with making them hear that. And and that was like probably, you know, the day I decided I'm in radio for life now. This is I like that, man. That's um, wonderful. And and that and it was right. Like, wasn't that right? And I was like 16 at the time, by the way. Um, and then, but I think that was right. That it was a test to see, like, well, how far can we push this? Really, do look how far we push it already, and they're cheering for us. Sure. Maybe we will go ahead and push it a little further. And then after that, the the uh, military bases, all the gates went wide open for cops to come in for training all across the country. Now every county has to have a SWAT team, oh, yeah. and it, Waco was really a turning point for that. There's a clip in um, the Rules of Engagement where one of the guys from ATF says to the Congress, it says, the days of a couple of detectives in three-piece suits or two-piece suits walking up to a door and knocking on it to serve a warrant right, of well, any kind yeah. is over. And the reason why is because we stand between the David Koresh's of the world and everybody here. 